Hello, you are watching a Gospel Moment brought to you by the Liberty Church of Christ in Dennis, Mississippi. My name is David Conley. For the next five minutes, I'd like for you to consider the question, what are the areas in our lives that God is concerned about? In 2 Kings chapters 2 through chapter 9, we see that God allowed Elijah to minister, and he allowed his person, Elisha, his student, to minister as well. Let's see some things that God was concerned about in Elisha's life that shows us that God's concerned about it in our lives. The first thing, God is concerned about our spiritual health. Elijah told Elisha that if he would see him be translated into heaven, then Elisha would receive double portion of the spirit that rested on Elijah. Well, Elisha saw Elijah and he did receive a double portion of the spiritual blessings. God is concerned about our spiritual health, and we can pray to God and ask Him to bless our spiritual life. But God is also concerned about our physical health. Elisha encountered a man named Naaman. Naaman was a Syrian, which was the arch enemy of the Israelites, and Naaman came by and asked for a healing, a healing of leprosy, a deadly disease. Elisha sent out his servant and told him to go dip seven times in the River Jordan, and he did, and, and he was healed. If God is concerned about Elisha's enemy and his physical health, then how much more is he concerned about Elisha and our physical health? We can pray to God to bless our physical health. God is also concerned about our land's resources. There was an incident in those chapters where the land was parched and had no water. Elisha took a little salt in a container and poured it into a spring, and that miraculously watered the entire land and its resources. We can pray to God to bless our land's resources. God's concerned about our security. Did you know in those few chapters, story of the Moabites and the Syrians, they attacked the Israelites, and God provided a blessing for them all and they won against their enemies. We can pray to God for our nation's security because He's concerned about our security. God's also concerned about our politics. God told Elisha to go and anoint Jehu to be the king. Elisha did, and Jehu became the king. God's concerned about who our leaders are. We can pray to God to bless our politics. He's concerned about our economy. There's one story in those chapters where within 24 hours, they went from a negative economy where everything was in famine and expensive. 24 hours later, there was plenty and everything was abundant. God's concerned about our economy and we can pray that God will bless our economy. And not just our nation's economy, He's concerned about our personal finances. Elisha saved a widow who was in debt. They were going to sell her sons and pay her debt. But because of the miraculous work through Elisha, her sons were saved and her retirement was even funded. So we can pray to God to bless our personal finances. God's concerned about our personal property too. One man, a friend of his, lost an axe head in, a, in some water and it sunk to the bottom. Elisha, miraculously, the axe head, the iron axe head floated to the top. You think that's nothing, that's in, insignificant, but to God it was important. God is concerned about our personal property. God's concerned about our daily food. On one occasion, there was a pot of food for a whole bunch of folks, and God miraculously healed the pot that was full of poison so that the people could be fed. God is concerned about our family. God is concerned about our lives. Folks, what can we pray for? We can pray for anything because God's concerned about it. Let's pray. Father, thank you for being concerned about our lives and in every area of our lives, and we pray that you will bless them all. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. You've been listening and watching a gospel moment brought to you by the Liberty Church of Christ in Dennis, Mississippi. If you have any questions, comments, or you'd like to set up a free Bible study correspondence course, please call us at area code 662-454-7362. That's area code 662-454-7362. Thanks for listening and watching a gospel moment.